physical activity, doing exercise, being active is going to have a big impact on the aging process and how you age. If you're physically active and it has been so through all through your life, you can foresee to become approximately four years older than a person who has not done exercise. Four more years. That's the good side of it. But the other side is, of course, that having said that, you're going to spend approximately two to four years to accomplish this task of being physically active. So if you hate doing exercise, this is really a bad deal. Because you're not going to get any win-win situation. But where you will have a good deal, that is that physical activity throughout life is going to give you approximately 10 more years of disease-free life. So rather than dying with or dying from lifestyle-related chronic diseases, you might have the chance of die healthy and just die of age. Um, another thing is that we, of course, deteriorate to some extent. This is approximately the size of a, a well-trained thigh of a, of a 20-year-old. This would be similar to a person who's around 80. And as you can see, you will lose muscle. You can avoid part of that loss by being physically active. In fact, if you've been physically active, you can functionally be approximately 20 to 30 years younger than the biological age. And even if you sit and, and regret that you didn't start earlier, just a couple of months of training or a year of training will improve your function so you get like something like five to 10 years younger in functional terms. And that might help you getting quick, quicker up of the chair, uh, jumping quite faster up the stairs and also avoiding fall and fractures which not only is going to be a problem for yourself but also a society problem. So let me just end this presentation by saying one of the easy ways to examine whether our muscles are good enough and I know you're sitting with wine glasses and you're going to have a dinner in a moment if you and it's totally voluntary, but try to share with me, if you sit like this, you can hold your wine glass like this and you can't jump as quickly, <laughs> and then simply go from here and stand up and sit down again. And this is the exercise, and we're now gonna try it for 30 seconds. And these starts now, and you're counting how many times can you go up and down. You don't have to tell the others how many times it was, but just try to go up and down. Just to give you a feeling what every 80-year-old person also have to try to go through. Uh, and this was 15 seconds, we only have 15 to go. Uh, this is one of the best predictive tests for how well you will function in daily life. And it's only five seconds left, and we're close to being there. Three, two, one, and this was it. Thank you very much. And you can then afterwards, you can come, you can sneak up afterwards and see how well did you do if you were around 60, which probably a few of you are. Something like 19 repetitions are good. 14 or below that, you probably should consider being a little more physically active. And you can see those uh, numbers go down. And this is one of the best predictors for how well an, an elderly person will function in daily life. So being active and staying active is, is actually uh, gonna help you healthy aging. Thank you very much.